So big week of tennis this week with the Monte Carlo Masters taking center stage. The only tournament on the ATP side. And there was no WTA events this week because it was kind of a international week with Billie Jean King Cup. So let's go have a look at who won Monte Carlo last week because it was a really big result. So Monte Carlo, the only event on last week. Sissy Pass ends up beating Rude in the final 6-1, 6-4 to lift his third Monte Carlo Masters over the last four years. And he got a boost back into the top 10. Casper Rude also got a boost in the rankings as well because of that great result. And both had a really good week, both beating Djokovic and Sinner respectively along the way. So really good for the, both of them to come into the clay court season with those sort of wins. All right, let's see who went up in the rankings this week outside the top 10 to start with. Ugo Ambeau. He went up two spots at number 13 in the world. That's a career high for him after making it to the quarterfinals of Monte Carlo this week. Monfils. He goes up three spots at number 37 in the world after having a couple wins in Monte Carlo. And Sonigo came in as a lucky loser to replace El Caraz. He goes up six spots to number 51 in the world after winning a couple matches in Monte Carlo and really getting a boost thanks to El Caraz pulling out. So there's some big results there for some familiar names. Players that went down to the rankings in the last week. Miron Draver. She went down four spots to number 43 in the world after losing points from a challenger event she played last year. So her ranking just seems to drop, but she is coming back next week. So maybe she can start regaining some points. Jack Draper. He went down seven spots number 46 in the world after failing to defend the points from last year's event and Shevchenko he goes down eight spots number 63 in the world also dropping points from having a successful run last year in Monte Carlo so no massive changes to any big huge names but there were some changes to the players outside the top 10 due to dropping points from 12 months ago all right let's start on the WTA side of things because nothing changed because no one played for points this week it was only Billie Jean King Cup so Sviantek, she stays at one with Sabalenka at two, and Rabakina at four, Pagula at five, Sakri at six, Zhang comes in at seven with Vondrusova at eight, Jabur comes in at nine, and Ostapenko rounds out the top ten. But this week, in Stuttgart, everyone in the top ten except for Pagula is playing. So there is a 500 points up for grabs. Of course, Sviantek, Sabalenka are the defending finalists. So with such a big event coming up next week, we might see some changes. Looking at the race of the finals, no change with Sviantek staying at one, Rabakina at two, Sabalenka at three, and Collins at number four. Zhang will come in at number five with Goff at six, Ostapenko at seven, and Paulini at eight. Kalinskaya at nine, and Kazakina rounds out the top 10. And again, no change because nobody played for points this week. But again, Stuttgart, huge event. A lot of those players are in action, so expect some changes to this in a week's time. Now over to the A to B rankings, and this is where we did see some massive changes, but nothing up the top with Djokovic staying at one and Sinner staying at that number two spot for another week. Alcaraz not playing in Monte Carlo means that he stays at number three with Medvedev at four and Zverev at five, but we did have a change at the bottom of the top 10 with Rublev dropping all the points from last year, dropping down a couple of spots, making way for Rude to go up to number six and City Pass to go up to number seven, going up four and five spots respectively. And like I said, Rublev going down two spots to number eight. Also pushing Herkes down to number 9. Dimitrov drops down to number 10. And Runa completely drops out of the top 10 despite making the quarterfinals. But because other guys did much better than him, he got kicked out of the top 10 for the first time in a while. So it's really jam-packed between number 6 and number 12 in the rankings. And things can change really, really quickly. And of course, next week with Barcelona and Munich being the two big events that most of these guys are playing, expect more changes in the next few weeks. Over to the race, the finals, and no change at the top with Sinner at one and Medvedev at two. Zverev comes in number three, but Kasper Ruud, he goes up to number four, pushing Alcaraz down to number five, Diminor down to number six, and Dimitrov down to number seven. And with a thousand points, City Pass flies into the top 10, 17 spots higher than last week to that number eight spot. And also Djokovic getting back into the top 10. We haven't seen him in the race of the finals for a while. He goes into the number nine spot, four spots higher than last week. Those guys all pushing her catch down to number 10, which is three spots lower than last week. And Rublev and Baez both getting kicked out of the race of the finals top 10 for this week. So we're starting to see real familiar names now. And it's actually starting to look very similar to what the top 10 actually looks like if you look on the ATP. Just different ranking positions, but the guys that are in the top 10 of the race to finals are starting to mirror what is happening in the actual rankings. And of course, next week, Barcelona, 500 points and 250 points for the smaller tournaments. Could see some more changes. And then, of course, Madrid and Rome, they're worth 1,000 points each. So by the time we get to the French Open, this could look a lot different. So there is not much to talk about in the rankings this week because on the women's side, nothing changed. Nobody played, but that'll change next week. Stuttgart is a huge event and every big name's playing for the most part. And then Barcelona, of course, is the big one for the men next week. And of course, we're going to see changes after a 1,000 event, but let me know down in the comments below. What's been the most surprising thing for you this week? Not just in the rankings, but in general. I mean, we had some massive results and massive shocks 
Half in Monte Carlo. Djokovic went down to Rude for the first time ever. Sinner losing a match. That hasn't happened very often this year. City Pass coming out of nowhere, sort of to win after having a bit of a bad 12 months. Rude regaining a, a little bit of confidence, making a final on clay like that again. But man, what a tournament. What a big tournament this week in Monte Carlo. Next week, Barcelona, Stuttgart. They're the big ones. Expect some changes.